Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna redo the cats in Animal Crossing since I'm not 100% satisfied with like I'm not I'm not that 100% happy how Tangy turning out because I there's a several places that can be improved so today we're gonna make another cat from Animal Crossing and to make it easy and the video not too fast not too long I'm just gonna stick with another cat with just plain color so today we're gonna do Murray you know she have she only have one color all over her body so we can avoid uh, color changing and if you want to make other cats you can change the color by yourself but if you want me to do another cat comment down below which one do you want and let's get started today i'm gonna use my uh usual yarn this is a ego knitting yarn from thailand which i bring here to uk and 3.5 millimeter hook so from experiment with the yarn over here so this is the actually similar size to the DK yarn in UK so just use it <laughs> so you can use that yarn as well okay we're gonna start with her head yes the head so I'm gonna make her head bigger than Tangy so we're gonna start with the head part and uh, my, my flat is actually undergoing the refurb refurbishing right now so that, that, there may be a noise going into the videos I try my best to speak loud <laughs> louder than usual so you know you you can only you can hear me more clearly than the noise from the leaf for bitching. Oh god. So hard to think. Okay. We going to start with six single crochet into the circle. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna move it a little bit closer. I have two lamp right now around me and I hope I hope you can see the the detail more clear and I'm just gonna start with two chain one chain two chain and six single crochet into the first chain if you cannot do this you can do magic ring of course any way that you prefer and you end the first round with six single crochet in the circle shape so four five and six and if the video is too fast you can go to the setting in the video and select the, the speed to be like 0 0.75 so it can show you slower it should be smooth I, I put the resolution when recording this quite high so it should smooth when slowing down and slip the stitch yes I just slipped the stitch I hope you see that and one chain to start the next round so for the first couple of rounds we're gonna do the same as we do as we as we did in tanky video uh next round is increased so increase in each stitch so by increase i mean uh two single crochet into the same stitch here i'm doing the single crochet into the same place that i was slip stitch earlier and another single crochet so this is increase and increase into the next stitch as well one single crochet two single crochet into the same stitch and we're doing this all around and actually if you want if you prefer you can work in a spiral as I just like what I'm done in the last video when I missed a basket 
we just made uh, we just work spiral up without closing the round but I don't want to how to say I prefer <laughs> closing the round so I know when the end of the round is approaching right here we can see that the start of the round is approaching here because we kind of see that and the last increase and slip stitch to close the round Oops. slip stitch to close the round and if you miss any step you can ref refer back to the another videos most of my videos start the first three or four round the same so you can go to any other videos they all start the same way and next round we're gonna do one single crochet and increase one single crochet and increase and repeat it all around so one single crochet into the same stitch that we do slip stitch earlier and then increase one single crochet another one in the same stitch one single crochet and another one in the same stitch one single crochet another one in the same stitch one single crochet and another one in the same stitch I'm just gonna speeding up a little bit so this video is not too long and as I say if it's t if this is too fast go to the setting of the video you can set the play speed and trying to find the, the best distance from the camera so it uh, is clear one chain to start the next round and next round is single crochet in the next two stitch and increase and repeat it all around so one single crochet to the same space that we do slip stitch earlier and one single crochet into the next stitch and increase to single crochet into the same stitch and yeah it's tangle here should be fine okay so one single crochet two single crochet and increase 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 and the last one single crochet two single crochet and increase you can see that we are back to the starting point and slip stitch on the first single crochet of the round I forgot to mention that slip stitch one chain to start the next round and next round is going to be one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet into the next stitch one two three and then we do increase one two three and increase uh, repeating that all around or six time so one single crochet into the same stitch two three and increase one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and increase one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and then increase and repeating that one two three and increase Oops. 
माहे है वन सिंगल क्रोशे टू सिंगल क्रोशे थ्री सिंगल क्रोशे एंड इंक्रीज वन सिंगल क्रोशे टू सिंगल क्रोशे थ्री सिंगल क्रोशे फोर सिंगल क्रोशे नो एंड इंक्रीज एंड स्लिप स्टिच टू क्लोज द राउंड वन चेन टू स्टार्ट द नेक्स्ट राउंड Next round, we're gonna do single crochet into the next four stitch, one, two, three, four, and increase. And as you can see from the trend, we do like increase all around, one single crochet, then increase, two single crochet, then increase, three single crochet, then increase, and now it's four single crochet, then increase. So if you want to make her bigger, you just you just go more, you know, five, six, seven, eight, and then increase. Just keep repeating that until you get to the size that you want so next round is four single crochet and increase so one two three four and increase one two three Four and increase. One, two, three, four, and increase. One, two, three, four, and increase. One, two, three, four, and increase. Like, it's really noisy outside my flat right now. I'm not sure if the if the sound getting through the video or not. One, two, three, four, and increase. And slip stitch one chain to start the next row next round we're gonna do so for Murray she's not completely round so i'm making from top down here so she not completely round or circle so i'm gonna do a little bit of the slanting <laughs> over this side is that the word yeah so next we going to do E, or should I just go five? I'm hesitating. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, one single crochet all around. I have to believe in my gut. This is what my instincts say. <laughs> one single crochet all around. Oh, if it's not correct, I'm just redo it. One single crochet all around and I didn't count and I'm not sure if I miss any stitch <laughs> but it should be fine. One single crochet. Like for the person who wanna count the stitch uh, the pattern is on the screen <laughs> anyway. So one single crochet all around. Uh, for any for anybody who curious, <laughs> I I I am planning to do every type of animal from Animal Crossing, 
like at least one video per animal type so if your favorite characters is uh, maybe a cup or a duck so one of the video gonna come somewhere <laughs> somewhere later this year or maybe at the start of next year because we're already toward the end of the year anyway okay slip stitch to close the round and one chain to start the next round so next round should be fine next round is i'm gonna increase it a little bit so single crochet into the next five stitch and increase so one two three four five and increase and then we repeating this all around so one two three so the battery is running out so i'm just change the battery and coming back but i'm not sure where it left so we're still on the round eight so we're gonna do three four five and increase and close the round slip stitch to close the round and one chain to start the next round i'm gonna move this up a little bit and um, is the light too strong um, next round we're going to do a single crochet all around so another single crochet all around one single crochet all around I can I can hear the worker outside talking and I'm not sure I'm really not sure if that voice getting in the videos or not I hope not I hope not and one single crochet all around Uh, for this one, after finishing, Murray gonna be quite bigger than Tanky. And because I want to make every of the dolls like in in the same size as in the game, you know, like Ma since Masha is turning out so cute, so every other dolls the size are based on him so they're gonna keep getting bigger and bigger because the squaro is one of the smallest villagers so other uh, gonna turn turning out quite big so one single crochet each stitch this one is the easy part single crochet and one single crochet one single crochet and yes if it's too fast just go to the setting and make it play slower slip stitch to close the round slip stitch from the first stitch of the round mm, and make sure you properly hook it through like this okay one chain to start the next round and this is what it should look like and kind of slanting which what I'm aiming aiming for and this two. okay next round we're gonna increase yes increase again uh, single crochet into the next six stitch and increase is it are these focus So one single crochet into the same stitch that we do slip stitch and then 
one single crochet next so two three four five six and increase two into the same stitch one two three four five six and two into the same stitch also called increase one two three four five six and increase One, two, three, four, five, six, and increase. One, two, three, four, five, six, and increase. <laughs> The dog is barking outside, unstopping, <laughs> non stop. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, and increase. Slip stitch to close the round, and one chain to start the next round. So I think that's it gonna be our last increase so and her head is quite big already and for the next couple of rounds we're gonna keep doing increase in on this one and increasing before before we decrease to close the 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 pieces the piece you see on the screen how how many how many round so one single crochet all around for for a certain number of round uh rows so just one single crochet all around i will speeding up the video af after finishing this round so you can because it's just a repeating repeating stitch and you don't have to listen to the bark to the dog barking if it's going through oh my god that <laughs> he's still barking non non-stop okay so one single crochet all around
first slip stitch to close the round and one chain to start the next round okay we're gonna start a uh, decrease so next round we're going to do it doesn't look focus a uh, single crochet into the next six stitch so one two three four five six and then decrease so one single crochet into the same stitch that we do slip stitch two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet five six and decrease or single crochet two together so you hook it through and you hook through another stitch and hook both of them together so this is called decrease and if you not familiar with it you can search single crochet decrease or single crochet two together in the YouTube there's a tons of uh, tutorial on that oops and let's repeat six one two three four five six and then decrease and comment down below if you think I should do the <laughs> beginner tutorial like you know how to crochet a single crochet how to do decrease or how to do other type of stitch etc one two three four five six i didn't plan to do that because you know that so many people are doing that already so I'm just like mostly focused on that but if you think I should do that comment down below maybe I will considering doing that one two three four five six and decrease so you hook one through and you hook another one and that decrease One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four, oops, five, six, and decrease. <clears throat> One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four, five, six, and decrease two together one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet five single crochet six single crochet and decrease and if we didn't miss any stitch this should be, you know, that's it. We like we are finished at the end of the stitch, without anything remain or, you know, we have enough. <laughs> oh, what is that word in English again? <clears throat> yeah, and slip stitch to close the round. Slip stitch, one single crochet. No, <laughs> one chain to start the next round. We're just gonna keep decrease all the way through because we have enough for her head already and it may look a bit long but I think this going to be okay once it finish yes uh, next uh, next round we going to do Five single crochet, single crochet into the next five stitch, one, two, three, four, five, and decrease and repeat it for six time. I'll repeat it all around. One, two, three, four, five, and decrease. I'm just gonna start speeding things up a little bit because I don't have much memory left. So one, 
two, three, four, five, six, no, five, and decrease. One, two, three, four, five, and decrease. One, two, three, four, five, and decrease. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, and decrease. One, two, three, four, five, and decrease, and slip stitch to close the round. One stitch to start the next round. stitch to start the next round the next round <clears throat> next round we're gonna keep decreasing so single crochet into the next four stitch and decrease and we're just gonna do that six five four three two one until until we close the this big hold hole one <laughs> two three four <clears throat> and decrease one two three four and decrease One, <clears throat> two, three, four, and decrease. And I think I should sip some water. <laughs> some water, just. Okay. Next round, we're going to. No, 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 we're not finished the round yet. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, and kind of, and decrease. One, two, three, four, and decrease. Repeating it one, two, three, four, and decrease. Slip stitch to close the round, one chain to start the next round. And I think I should move the camera down a little bit. I just noticed that I keep. Going down and down and down. <laughs> okay, this should do. And um, yeah, I think this 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 going to to turn out really good. Okay. <clears throat> next round, uh, single crochet into the next three stitch and decrease. One, two, three, and decrease. 
and yes finally I'm in the middle of the screen <laughs> one two <clears throat> three and decrease one two 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 three and decrease one chain to start the next round and next round we're gonna do single crochet into the next two stitch and decrease one two and decrease one two and decrease one two decrease one two and decrease one two decrease one two and decrease slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the next round and I think I'm just gonna stop here and stop some fibers and I don't think this is enough I don't think this is enough Okay, when stuff the fiber, try to put it as much as possible and spread it equally because when the time passed, the, this fiber will start to clump together and your, do <laughs> your creation will get like wonky, like, like that when the time passed so we have to make sure that we put a lot of fibers inside so that doesn't happen and close around next stitch is one single crochet and then decrease so one single crochet and decrease so after stuffing the the fibers it's gonna get a little bit harder to crochet and be careful not to make a big hole between the stitch 
and decrease. One single crochet 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 and decrease. Slip stitch to close the round. The the stitch mid loop. Uh, the start of the round may be a little bit harder to find because now everything is tight. Okay, last round. Decrease all around. So for six time. Six. So, decrease number one, decrease number two, decrease number three, decrease number four, and decrease number five. And the last decrease. Slip stitch to close the round. And the hole is not going to be like 100% close. You can sew in this close or I'm just going to left it because we're going to sew the body here anyway. And do we lapse the stitch? No. So where's the scissor? So left uh, around two inches, just not not too much. We're not gonna sew anything with this, but if you want to sew this hole close, maybe a little bit more, and kind of like to make sure that this is not uh, falling off, put it in there. And scratch the round to make sure that all the fibers are not clumped anywhere and not push the the dolls. You know, you can put kind of like shaving the doll to be whatever size that you want. You want it to look like a triangle or you want it to be more square. And push it there. Um, I think for it should look something like around here. Eh, which side should be her face? So now I'm just rotated to find a base place to be to place her eyes, and I think here should be fine. Yep, around here. So this is our new cat head. When comparing to Tangy, you can see it is a bit bigger. And when this big <laughs> here, I think the, this head will suit this body more. Okay, next we're gonna do the ear. We're gonna do the ear. And for the ears, is exactly the same as tangy but i'm gonna show you anyway how to doing that okay next for the ear we're gonna start with four single crochet into the circle and i am gonna do four single crochet uh no 
<laughs> two chain first, one chain, two chain, and then four single crochet into the first chain. And if this is hard because four is kind of small, you can do magic ring. That's gonna be easier to do. So one, two, uh, three, and four. Now slip stitch two close to round. It will be a little bit hard because it's only four stitch. So slip stitch, one chain to start the next round. So ideally we want to show the right side, but it's gonna be hard right now. So next stitch, uh, no, next round we're gonna do one single crochet and then decrease, one single crochet and then decrease. So one single crochet into the same stitch that we do slip stitch earlier. So one single crochet and then increase two into the same stitch, one and another one in the same stitch, one chain to the, <laughs> not one chain. <laughs> one single crochet into the next stitch and then two into the next stitch so one and two into the same stitch so right now before we slip stitch right here to close the round we flip it to show the right side out and put the wrong side in now we can slip stitch here slip stitch and one chain to start the next round. Next round, we're going to do the same thing. So one single crochet, increase, one single crochet, increase, one single crochet, and increase. So repeat that for three times. So one single crochet into the same stitch that we do slip stitch, increase, one and two into the same stitch one single crochet into the next stitch one sing and increase in the next stitch one single crochet into the next stitch and increase for in the next stitch slip stitch to close the round slip stitch at the first stitch of the round so slip stitch one chain to start the next round and next round we're going to do single crochet into the next two stitch and then increase and repeat that all around so one single crochet two single crochet increase one single crochet and two into the same stitch one single crochet two single crochet and two into the same stitch so one two one single crochet two single crochet and increase slip stitch to close the round slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the next round and next round we're going to do single crochet into the next three stitch so one two three and increase so one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and increase so two into the same stitch and repeating this one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and increase one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and increase so two into the same stitch then slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the next round and one two three 
twist. So next round we are gonna do one, two, single crochet all around. So 15 single crochet. So one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. So just single crochet all around. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Slip stitch to close the round and one chain to start the next round. Next round we're gonna do a single crochet into the next four stitch. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, and then increase. So, one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, and increase. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, and decrease. So, two into the same stitch. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, oops, four single crochet, and decrease, no, not decrease, <laughs> increase. So two into the same stitch. Slip stitch to close the round, and one chain to start the next round. And uh, next round we're going to do single crochet into the next five stitch and increase. So one, two, three, four, five, then single crochet two single crochet into the same stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, and increase. So two into the same stitch. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet, and increase. Two into the same stitch. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet, and increase. Two into the same stitch. Uh, slip stitch to close the round and that's it for the ear I think the ear is too small like it should be yeah it's too small so it's too small so we're gonna add one more round to the ear yeah, we're gonna add one more round. Okay, we're gonna add one more round to the ear. So next round, I'm gonna do a single crochet into the next six stitch and increase. So one, two. Tied it together. Here it is. There's a lot of way to join the yarn together, and I found that just making a normal knot is the hmm, how to say it's the strongest. <laughs> okay, one, one, two, three. Four, five, six, and increase. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
and increase. One, two, three, four, five, six, and increase. Slip stitch to close the round. And let's see if this is better. Yes, this is better. This is a lot better. Okay, we have two shades of pink, but we're gonna do the the lighter version only because it's small. And we're gonna use the darker one to kind of add more details to it later. So first thing first. So five chain. This is it. One chain, two chain, three chain, four chain, and five chains. Then we skip the first chain from the hook and work here. I'm going to do a single crochet here, one single crochet, and another single crochet into the next chain then we're gonna do half double crochet so we uh, yarn over like that put the hook through and hook it through so this is half double crochet next we're gonna do double crochet so we start the same yarn over hook this through the last chain hook this through but now you pull the yarn only uh, two, two loop at a time. So another time to close this. And this is double crochet. And now we got the inner ear that we're going to put oops, in here. Left uh, quite a bit of yarn for a little sole. Let us sewing and make two of them. Make two of this and then we then we're gonna sew the ear. Okay, uh, 
after finish the sewing the ears if you have uh, the pink yarn left do not cut it off we're gonna use it to make uh, embroidery her nose and her cheek so from the picture her nose kind of look like a small hat so I'm just gonna embroider her hat oh yes and before we fast forward to to that at first I was planning to crochet her bangs and then <laughs> after I'm trying it off the camera it look it doesn't look good so I'm just gonna embroider the, the bang as well so this is the only crochet how to say that so we are finished with her head right now and then we're gonna fast do it fast yeah we're gonna embroidery her face her mouth and her bang And comment down below if you think I shouldn't speed up the videos in the embroidery part. <laughs> because right now, you know, this is a crochet channel, so we fast, so we only focus on the crochet part. But if you think that uh, the slow version of embroidery is useful, comment down below. And yeah. So here I just mark the position for her nose and her cheek. Is her cheek a star?
finish uh, Murray's paint. I think she looked better in person than in the camera. So maybe squeeze it down so like her face is in the camera more. But yeah. I'm I'm really I am really pleased with how she's turning out even though I think I, sh I should use the smaller black yarn like I have a smaller yarn for embroidery so her mouth can be look better <laughs> but yeah but I, I'm happy with how she's turning out and next we're gonna do her body and if if I'm not wrong, if I'm I am not wrong, her body is going to be the same as Tangy. So let's get started and I'm just go put on my jacket because it's so cold right now. Um Okay. For the body we are gonna start with we're gonna start like when we start her head so six single crochet into the first chain so we do two chain one chain two chain and six single crochet into the first chain one single crochet two single crochet Three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet, and six single crochet. Just slip stitch on the first stitch of the round. So we do slip stitch to close the round and one chain to start the next round. And pull this tail to close the hole. And next is we're we just gonna keep increasing the same way that we do her head. So increase all rounds for for the second round. So two single crochet into each stitch all around. So one single crochet and another single crochet into the same stitch. One single crochet and another one into the same stitch and repeat all around. One single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet and two single crochet. Then we're gonna slip stitch to close the round. So slip stitch on the first single stitch, single crochet that we do of the round. And one chain to start the next round. Next round we're gonna do one single crochet and increase. And then repeat it all around. So one single crochet into the same place that we do slip stitch earlier, increase two single crochet into the same stitch, one single crochet and two single crochet into the same stitch. One single crochet, two single crochet into the same stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch, then two single crochet into the same stitch. Slip stitch to close the round. 
one chain to start the next round and next round we going to do single crochet into the next two stitch one two and then increase single crochet into the same stitch <laughs> into the same stitch that we do slip stitch earlier and then single crochet into the next stitch then increase two into the same stitch single crochet into the next two stitch one two and increase two into the same stitch one single crochet two single crochet increase one single crochet two single crochet and increase one single crochet two single crochet and increase one single crochet two single crochet and increase slip stitch to close the round and one chain to start the next round next round we're gonna continue increase so single crochet into the next three stitch one two three and then increase and repeat it all around so one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and increase two into the same stitch one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and increase two into the same stitch one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and increase one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and increase one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and increase one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and increase slip stitch two cross the round and one chain to start the next round Next round we're going to do one single crochet all around. So one single crochet into each stitch all around. One single crochet and one single crochet and before we uh, yarn over to finish the last stitch I'm gonna change the color so I'm going to change the color to pink and 
So instead instead of hooking to the same color, I'm just going to hook the pink yarn instead. So yarn over and hook it through. Slip stitch to close the round. And one chain to start the next round. Since we're not going to use the this uh, cream color yarn anymore, so I'm just going to cut it off. And put that aside. And if you're concerned about like, you know, the tail of the yarn, just tie the knot so it secure inside her inside her body today and we're gonna do uh, we're gonna keep doing one single crochet all around for for the next two or three round as it said in on the screen <laughs> so one single crochet all around One single crochet and slip stitch to close the round. Um, I think I'm just, I'm just gonna stop talking and we'll see you in the next couple of round when the pattern is changing. So just keep one single crochet into each stitch. So I decided to change the pattern a little bit. So in the next round, we're going to do single crochet into the next eight stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then decrease. So so we can de we're gonna decrease three times over this round. So one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet. Four single crochet, five single crochet, six, seven, eight, and then we're gonna do single crochet two together or increase. No, decrease, decrease, <laughs> decrease. Oh my god. So one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet. 
six single crochet seven eight and decrease so two together and slip stitch <laughs> not slip stitch <laughs> slip it through oh my god one single crochet two single crochet four five six seven eight and decrease why <laughs> one two three four five six seven eight and decrease now i thought i was miss miss up something but no so single crochet into the eighth stitch and decrease then we slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the next round and next stitch we going to do uh, we're going to decrease in the same order so next next round we're going to do single crochet into the next seven stitch and then decrease so one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet five single crochet six single crochet seven single crochet and decrease one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four five six seven and decrease one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four five six seven and decrease two into the same stitch slip stitch to close the round and one chain to start the next round I uh, just drop my, the yarn ball down here okay next we going to do next round will be single crochet into the next six stitch and then decrease one two three four five six and decrease one two three four five six decrease one two three four five six decrease and slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the next round and yep we're gonna keep going with this setting so next round is going to be single crochet into the next five stitch and then decrease one single crochet two single crochet three four five and decrease one single crochet two single crochet three four five and decrease so two into the same stitch one single crochet two single crochet 
three single crochet four single crochet five single crochet and decrease slip stitch to close the round one single crochet uh, next round <laughs> We're gonna do single crochet into the next four stitch and decrease. So one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, and decrease. One single crochet, two single crochet, three, four, and decrease. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, and decrease. Slip stitch to close the round, and one chain to start the next round. And let's see if this. Oh my god, so cute! Okay, for so one more round, we are going to do one single crochet into each stitch all around. So one single crochet into each stitch all around. Single crochet, single crochet, one single crochet, slip stitch to close the round, and that's it leave uh, quite a bit of yarn for sewing later cut the yarn and fasten off now we're gonna stuff the fibers in here And we're gonna sew it right there. So cute. Mm, a little bit. And now we're gonna hide all the knots and of this yarn in here and sew it. Next, we're going to do her hand, and we're going to start with the cream color, her skin color, and uh, two chain, yep, two chain, and five single crochet into the first chain, so five single crochet into a circle. You can do magic ring, yes. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet. Now, on the fifth stitch that we just done, so
So in, we're going to do color changing. Yes, color changing before finish the first round. Uh, we're going to change it into a pink yarn color. So hook the new color through the last stitch like that. And we're going to slip stitch to close the round. Slip, oops. <laughs> slip stitch to close the round. And one chain to start the next round. And before we are going to do the next round, I'm just going to cut this off because she wearing a long sleeve. And as you can see from the screen, she have a different color. I'm going to do the blue one. For for this tan, for this hand you can you just do all pink straight up, but we're going to do pink and then blue. So this round for the second round, we're just going to do uh one single crochet into the next five stitch. So single crochet into each stitch with the pink for five times so one single crochet and another one into the next stitch one into the next stitch and one into the next stitch and the last one the fifth one into the next stitch we kind of push this show the right side out and slip stitch to close the round Right, is it five? One, two, three, four, five. Yes. A slip stitch to close the round. It will look a bit messy right now because we have a lot of yarn. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Bad, bad, bad. We're gonna change the color. Yes, we're gonna change the color into blue. So on the last stitch, instead, we're just going back a little bit before we finish the last single crochet. We hook the blue yarn instead the pink so change the color you hook the blue yarn through and slip stitch to close the round where is it here slip stitch to close the round and one chain to start the next round and before we go in further, just gonna cut the pink yarn since we don't use it anymore. And yep, from now on, we're just gonna do one single crochet all around until round eight. So we just repeat it one single crochet into each stitch all around and be careful not to hook all of this out uh, you can lift all of the tail inside it's not gonna falling off but if you are concerned you can tie the knot in there to secure it but it's fine I'm just gonna let it hang there and after the fifth stitch, we're just going to slip stitch to close the round and one chain to start the next round. And another single crochet into the next five stitch. And at this point, if you want to do spiral, just do it. It's fine because we're not going to change any color anymore. So it actually doesn't have a point to, we don't need to close the round, but I do it anyway. So slip stitch to close the round, one chain to start the next round. One, two, three, four, five, and slip stitch to close the round. One chain to start the next round. And just the same one single crochet into each stitch going up. Each stitch. And 
and slip stitch two close to row. One chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. So two more rounds to go. Single crochet into each stitch for five times. Three, four, five. Slip stitch. And the last round. Single crochet into each stitch. Slip stitch too close to round. We leave quite a quite a bit for sewing. Cut this off, fast and off. And another for another hand, you do the same, but you you don't change the color into blue. You just stick with pink and going up and this side I'm going to sew it to her body like that and here there used to be uh, on, there's a this pattern over her shirt I'm still think, thinking I'm still I'm thinking right now like should I just do it or should I just leave it like that you see and next ah oh, before sewing i'm gonna do the i am gonna do the leg both of her legs first and of course her tails as, as well so before we sewing that next we are going to do her leg yes so her leg is exactly the same as her uh, tangy, <laughs> her friends. So we're going to start with five or six, six single crochet into a circle. So two, two chains, one chain, <laughs> I'm about to say single crochet, one chain, two chain, and six single crochet into the first chain and yes magic ring is fine <laughs> one two three four five and six slip stitch to close the round and in the next stitch, we going to work on the back loop only. So normally you hook it through both of the loop like this, right? When we do single crochet, but this round, we're going to work only on the back loop, which is this one all around. So we're just going to do one single crochet for each stitch all around for six times. So First single crochet is going to be at the same stitch that we do slip stitch earlier. So instead of do uh, put hook uh, <laughs> putting the hook through here, we're just going to put the hook through here instead. So only at the back, at the second loop. One single crochet and back loop only. One single crochet, another only on the back loop one single crochet and do the, repeating this all around so one single crochet another one single crochet and the last one for single crochet and slip stitch to close the round we find the first stitch of the round which is here is it this one Okay, this one slip stitch and close the row one chain to start the next row so be, uh, when we do the back loop only it's gonna be like flatten flatten the first the first round and it's going up instead of like gradually going up like the hand like when comparing side by side you see the, the difference. And 
then next row. Next row is a single crochet into each stitch again just for six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And slip stitch two, close the row. One chain to start the next round. And this round, uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do one increase. So single crochet in the next five stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Then increase. So on the last stitch that we have left. We do two single crochet into the same stitch, slip stitch two, close the round, and one chain to start the next round. And next round is one single crochet all around. One single crochet all around. For seven times, if you ask, six and seven. Slip stitch to close the round, one chain to start the next round. And I think this next is going to be our last round. We're just gonna increase it one more time. So single crochet into the next six stitch and then increase. So one, two, three, four, five. Six and increase two into the same stitch. Slip stitch two, close the round and left left some length for sewing. Cut the yarn and fasten off. And of course, we're gonna make uh, two of this little tiny legs. And we're gonna sew it to her. And this time, I'm just going to put her into the sitting position because Tangi is, is really hard to put in the room because she cannot stand and she cannot sit either. I'm just going to put her into a sitting position. Next, we're going to do her tail. So for the tails, it... wait. For the tails, we're going to do it the same way that we do that we did her hand but with just only her skin color all along all the way here and nine row or you can do it longer so basically a single crochet five single crochet into a circle so one chain, two chain, and five single crochet into the first chain, into a circle, and just keep doing five single crochet for each round, and repeating it until you get the to the length that you are okay that you want. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch to close the round. One chain to start the next round. Actually, actually, if you don't want to do it round by round and find that uh, working in spiral is easier w with the smaller piece like this, go go ahead, go ahead. This one doesn't have color changing in it, so it doesn't affect any shape of the of her tails. So if you prefer spiral, just doing it. I just doing it uh, the usual way. So five single crochet slip stitch. So if you work on spiral instead of slip stitch here, you just continue with one single crochet and just go all the way up until you get the tail to the length that you want. Slip stitch to close the round. One chain start the next round. 
So it should be five single crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. I okay. The memory, the memory card is full, and I just uh, move, move the video out, and here is the finish looking of the tail. So you can make it as long as you like and I only stick at 9 row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, yep, at 9 row and next part we're gonna do the sewing so for the tail, just I'm gonna try putting it somewhere around here so it can help support when she's sitting and hopefully our Murray can sit properly Okay, the the mem I don't have much memory left, so I just finished sewing the hand and her her limbs and her tail, and yes, everyone she can sit, yeah. And now I kind of uh, doing the details on her ears with what is it chain stitch? Yes, it's a chain stitch. It's the same type of the stitch that I used to make her eyes. So basically, I'm just doing the chain stitch around to make her ear into the look like the picture as much as possible along along the edge. And I kind of have to quickly doing that because I only have like one minute of the memory left, <laughs> like that, and just go up along the edge of the ear okay guys I'm finished with the ears I'm gonna stop the video here and we'll maybe doing the detail of the camera I only have 20 seconds left before the memory is full so thank you so much for watching and what do you think about this improving pattern on the Animal Crossing cat? Comment down below and what do you want to see next? And if you're not subscribed yet, click subscribe and like the videos.